Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Friday sit rep. Our sale is still going strong. Code BKM10 for 10% off of your purchase. Remember that excludes pre-orders, but does include everything else on the web store and then in our retail locations as well. Everything Brick Mania is 10% off. Some exclusions apply when it comes to the resale stuff, but that's how that works. So that's still going strong all the way through Sunday. Make sure to take advantage of that because our last full store-wide sale before this one was like, what, November? It's been a while. It's been a long time. So odds are it's gonna yeah. be a pretty decent stretch again until uh, the next one comes back. So make sure to take advantage of those. The uh, the Argyle, or the, the Argyle, the, the Auto Gyro, the, uh, the little- Agile? Agile, what the heck am Argyle. I thinking? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> the sweater, no, that thing is now officially shipping this week. It's part of its release week. So that one is a new one starting today. You can get 10% off on- Oh, nice. With code BKM10 because it is off of pre-order. The Titan II, however, didn't make it. No. No. Actually, it didn't even make it like a couple of hours. So we'll see if that one winds up getting restocked because that was a pretty dang popular kit. So that uh, props to everyone who gets a, gets a hand in that and is having that ship out this week. But let's turn things over now to our restock, or like to our restock, out. our brand new pre-order. This is Plain Bricks U2 Dragon Lady. High altitude reconnaissance aircraft is the, the technical Lockheed Martin name for it. Most people know it as the spy plane. Is this the widest wingspan that we've released as a kid? Well, you know, compared to fuselage ratio, it yeah, has to be I, because, I bet, like, yeah. that's what makes it look so ridiculously huge. Bet, is how yeah. teeny everything else is. Because how wide is this compared to like the AC-130? <sighs> well, I think the AC is probably still yeah. a little bit still. Got but some seriously, beef like, on like it, but for how far these wings are freaking jutting out from here, you can mm -hmm. even see in real life they actually like kind of droop down, so they have to have these like supports. Right, which it does. They do come Comes with the with brick that. built versions of them because some people want to display it like it's on the tarmac. You know sure. what I mean? But otherwise, you do have this this stand as well and yeah i mean the proportions are insane the thing that i like about it is that kind of like with a lot of the stuff we've been having for for space race it's like instantly iconically yeah. recognized because like what other plane is this shape no, right. <laughs> you know what i mean like it is instantly recognized um and for the size of the build and kind of the like holy smoke centerpiece of the collection not a bad price point sure. i mean it's definitely at the upper end of stuff for most people but at the same time if you're if this is your thing you're glad that it's not necessarily AC-130 level, you know right, what I mean? Right. Because it is nice to be able to get, get a hold of something like that for a little bit cheaper. So that is nice. Excellent build. Going to have a whole bunch of printed elements. But let's hear a little bit more about it now uh, from our project manager and coordinator with Plain Breaks, Mary Wilson, who is helping to bring this thing into kit form. Kick it over to the design room and hear more about the U2 Dragon Lady. Okay, so a little bit too big for the desk. So this is a designer's counter check-in. Uh, this is the U2 Dragon Lady, the uh, high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft designed by Plain Breaks. Mary, you were the project manager on this. Tell me a little bit more about this, uh, well, this ridiculously proportioned aircraft. <laughs> Isn't it? These wings are just insane. I know. Insane. I, can't, I like, like, can't zoom out yeah. enough to get it all in there. It's insane. Yeah, crazy just to even have it sit at my desk for as long as I have. <laughs> it can't fit in the display case with all the other kits, so I've just been keeping it at my desk. Yep. Um, but yeah, this was designed by uh, Jonah at Plain Bricks. Um, and overall, I think something people will want to know is that there are some slight changes from when he originally released it as like instructions. Mm -hmm. So this is um, a little bit uh, closer to like 135th scale. I think his was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I got some DMs a little bit concerned about that, but this is 135th scale, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Um, also, some things like this plane uh, has like super long wings in real life and mm -hmm. they droop. And so that's something that um, we kind of played around with a lot. Like if we wanted to keep that droop for when it was, you know, flying. Right. Um, but it's just so accurate. Like we had to like keep the kind of like flexibility. Mm -hmm. um, and so it comes with the stand. And then we also have it coming with um, some extra slopes on the bottom if you want just to completely remove this land, sure. the stand and put um, these like extra little like landing gear. They kind of like tarmac style yeah. almost, yeah. Um, if you have a chance, you should find a video of it landing because they like pull down the wing and then like put this on one side and they pull it on the other <laughs> sure. wing and put it on the other side. It's real goofy. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> but overall, this build like has a lot of moving parts, like all these uh, ailerons, mm -hmm. they're called, like all of these move. Um, just this whole landing gear, yeah, landing all that fun gear. stuff. It's overall a really fun build. I. I really enjoyed it. It took a while. Mm -hmm. It's quite the project, but it's really satisfying when it all comes together. Yeah, awesome. Definitely an iconic look to it. Now available on pre-order. Looking forward to seeing the uh, the final thing, getting another designer studio set up with uh, Plain Bricks. Mary, thank you very much for checking in. 
So also releasing this week as a new release uh, is the Gemini Mission Tile Pack. You can save 10% on that by using that BKM10 code at checkout. We checked out this in the preview a little bit. Some patch artwork. Mm -hmm. nice. So these are just Clean like commemorative printing. patches for all the missions yeah. um, and to two by two tiles. So. Yeah. Yeah. Nice looking for mm -hmm. display or for adding into your builds, whatever you want to do. Maybe you're making, you know, a museum or a something. A museum, right. Plenty of mock applications for this. And also just something cool to have if you're in a space race because this is the time of year to bring it back yeah. and or bring a new product out. We also have the Mercury Mission Tile Pack coming back on Monday. So if you're trying to complete your collection. Yeah. It's also just like, it's cool to collect tiles and printed bricks. Um, you know, if, for those of you going to conventions, you might have your brick badge. Mm -hmm. um, and these would be perfect to put on, on there just like in kind of commemoration of the different missions. So. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't you always kind of said you can't ever have too many printed bricks? It's impossible. It is literally impossible to have too many printed bricks, <laughs> which we, we do kind of hold true here too, because we, we love those brick oh, badges yeah. and obviously they're fun. So yeah, customize, etc. It's always fun to do. Mm -hmm. So that, that does it pretty much for the rundown this week. I mean, obviously we have the, the sale going strong. We did the big digital instructions drop on Wednesday. And so it's still been a plenty busy week. Uh, and then obviously putting together this beast of a U2 getting it ready to, to go on pre-order. Get your hands on it now. Other than that, remember the standards, mock contest, wrapping up, start of June, mm -hmm. sale, ends on Sunday, World War Brick, June of next year. Pretty much the standard stuff we're always throwing at you. Anything else you wanna cover? Uh, I've been just working really hard at mini standalone mini figures that will coincide very nicely with instructions. So just a heads up on that. That's coming, that's on the horizon, coming very soon. Mm -hmm. What is the first one? Is the first one the Tomcat pilot? Yeah, it might be. Is it really? I don't remember off the top of my head. I know, neither can I. It's either like the modern US tanker or the or the Tomcat pilot. I know I know the Here we uh, are speculating and the, people are like sweating and oh my uh, god, tell me which one it's I, gonna uh, be. <laughs> um, the Tomcat pilot, he the he turned out sweet. Um Jolly Rod he's gonna be based on the Jolly Rogers squadron. Mm -hmm. Um and I think just like trying out some new techniques on the on the the fa the simulated face shield. Yeah. Um it's gonna be an interesting Really cool standalone figure. I'm, I'm very excited for that one. So Remember, that's, that's printed right. That's being printed like today. Actually. Really, it's on. The, oh man, that's cool. Remember, those will still continue to drop on Fridays because we're keeping all the minifigures a little bit separate still because we know people will collect them separate from the instructions. But in the instructions, careful man, woo, easy. But in the instructions, all of the 3D printed uh, uh, items, stickers, etc., we will be dropping. Also, I think we sold out of Tomcat stickers. Oh man. <laughs> so. We'll get on <laughs> print more of those. We made like a hundred of them, so we thought we were gonna have enough and we didn't even last a day. Oh so <laughs> I, guess, I guess we're gonna have it's to get back those restocked. In the, back in the schedule. Back Oops. in action. So don't worry if you see the instructions there and not the corresponding sticker pack, it means that it is top of our list to get those back because we want them all to be in stock. We just, yeah. we're, we're very happy with the turnout and the reaction to the digital instructions. We're glad you guys were excited for them too and we will continue to do that uh, as you'll find out on the now Wednesday sit rep. Because now they get now they get us three times a week, man. What? Yeah, right. Although the Wednesday one will be pretty short because we're just going to cover some of the models that are going <laughs> on, whatever. So, but that'll do it for the Friday sit rep. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on Monday.